So, what was the real wealth of Timbuktu? Okay, so the Europeans all believed that Timbuktu was a city fashioned from the purest gold. And they got that because someone called Leo the African in, I don't know, uh, the 16th century or 17th century said that he had been there and it was just the wealthiest place ever. But it, reality really shows that he probably never even went there. So this idea that Timbuktu was so wealthy, I think, was really a metaphor of a different kind of wealth. And you have to remember that at the time, Timbuktu, um, a thousand years ago, and even before that, Timbuktu was linked to all the other major Islamic cities in the world, places like Fez, Cordoba, Samarkand, Bukhara, you know, the list goes on and on. And at the hub of the whole place, Mecca, because that was the pilgrimage place. So these pilgrimage routes were like a spider's web with a hub around Mecca. And Timbuktu, was deep, deep, deep in the desert. And the fact that it was so deep gave it this special um, value for Islamic scholars. And something that the West has completely missed, I think, is that Timbuktu's wealth was not, um, wasn't a, a commercial one, but it was a scholastic wealth. And scholars today have actually shown that, that Timbuktu from a thousand years ago was a place of intense academic and Islamic scholarship um, education and belief. It was a place where people would go and spend, you know, decades studying the Quran. And that was the real wealth. That was the wealth of Timbuktu.